I'm Grace. So let's get started. I'm a recipe blogger, family taught home chef. Cheers. Cheers. iPhone only photographer and proud New Englander. Crispy pork belly is not just a thing at restaurants. Make it easily at home. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've had those crispy crackling pork belly skins before and are yearning for it at home. So today we're going to make crispy pork belly. Here it is. <laughs> You're just gonna throw it in the oven and that's it. Kidding, I wish. The first step, making a rub for the pork belly. You can do whatever you want, but the two things that you need to include in your pork belly rub is salt, a generous amount, and pepper. Freshly cracked is always best. And this is what I like to do. I like to do a little bit of onion powder, some garlic powder, and this is the key, Chinese Five Spice Blend, which you can get right in the grocery store. And this blend is cinnamon, fennel, cloves, star anise, and white pepper. And it just has this beautiful, beautiful taste to it and aroma. It's really good with pork belly and very classic too and some light brown sugar. <laughs> some light brown sugar, which is going to help with the caramelization of the pork belly. So you're gonna mix this together until it's nice and combined. You know what this means, folks. It's time to get in there. Next step is you're going to take your piece of pork belly, skin side down, so you'll see that's the skin, but it's skin side down on a baking sheet, and we're gonna be working on the meat side here. And you're just going to sprinkle all of your spices and seasonings right on here, and then get in there and just rub it all over the meat, not the skin, so this side only. So then what you're going to do is flip. <laughs> it's ticking. Good. Then what you need to do is flip your pork belly to the other side, the skin side. And you're gonna wanna not get that rub on the skin side as much as possible. Take a paper towel and pat the skin as dry as possible. You really wanna dry out the skin because you want it to get crispy in the oven. After you've patted dry, you wanna kind of aggressively cut the skin in rows, just like this. You don't wanna go through the meat, you just wanna go through the skin itself and a little bit of that fat layer beneath it and these little holes are going to help the skin dry out, and then when we salt it, that will even help it dry out more. After scoring more salt, we need to dry out that skin, and also salt is flavor, so we're gonna add all that salt onto your skin and rub it all over the skin in those little scored holes. The last step before we let this guy marinate is I put a piece of foil underneath my pork belly, underneath the meat side, and we're gonna make this little boat with the foil. So you're just going to pinch the foil around the pork belly so that it's not on top of the skin, but it's running up the sides. And this is going to lock in the moisture while allowing the skin to dry out in the fridge. After we're done making the boat, you wanna stick your pork belly in the fridge for two hours uncovered. Just let it be, let it do its thing. It's out of the fridge. And the final step before we're going to throw it in the oven is I have a little bit of vegetable oil here. You can use canola if you prefer, and a splash of apple cider vinegar. The vinegar is going to help tenderize the skin and help it crisp up and dry out. And really same with the oil. The oil is going to help the skin crisp up. So it looks like a lot, but you're just going to kind of slather on this mixture just to the skin. Use it all until the skin is completely coated. 
It's time for the oven. 375 degrees for about an hour, and then we're going to broil it so the skin gets nice and crispy. It's been a little over an hour in the oven and our pork belly is registering over 160, 165, which is where we want the pork belly to be. It's okay if it's a little bit over. You wanna test the pork belly sideways through the meat layer, which is gonna give you an accurate reading. So I took the pork belly out of the oven so that way our oven can cool down a bit. I like to open the door, leave it open for about five minutes with the oven off before you turn the broiler on. That way your broiler will come on really nice and strong. Ovens can be a little finicky with the broiler setting, so just let it cool down. It's been a long five minutes of cooling. Pork belly goes back in the oven and we're gonna broil this guy for about five to 10 minutes until the skin on the top gets nice and crackling and crispy. It starts to pop and just, oh, gets crispy. <laughs> I mean, come on, people. I got my hair up. That's when you know I mean business. Look at the juice. Oh my. Mm, it's so juicy. My mouth is overflowing. But the top is so crispy. Mm, check it out on tastefullygrace.com, you won't regret it. Pork belly, get in my belly.